This short video talks about airline revenue, but one type of airline revenue which is called ancillary revenue. Let's see what that means. The ancillary revenue is defined normally as revenue from non-ticket sources. In this case, I want to think on a cinema or movie theater. When you go to a cinema, normally you buy a ticket. And the ticket is the main revenue of a movie theater. But very often, on top of the ticket, we buy something else. And a typical thing we buy at the movie theater is popcorn. I love popcorn. So very often I buy popcorn at the movie theater. Well, the money that the theater company generated by selling popcorn is what is called ancillary revenue. So we see that ancillary revenue is not only applicable for airlines, but it's also applicable for many other businesses. Back in 2012, I was in Madrid and I went to Toulouse to give a lecture. With this slide, I want to introduce you each step of my trip from Madrid to Toulouse. First, I took the metro and of course I had to buy a ticket to get on board from home to the airport. At the airport, I had plenty of time, so I decided to have a coffee. Before getting on board of the airline EasyJet. For my flight on EasyJet, I have bought the ticket beforehand, online. And they didn't offer any free food on board. So as I was hungry, I just bought a sandwich on this one hour flight between Madrid and Toulouse. In Toulouse, to go from the airport to my hotel, I took a taxi, and when we arrived, I asked for a receipt. The booking of my hotel, I had bought it in advance, and of course I did it online. But because it was quite cheap, didn't include. So they asked me if I wanted to have breakfast, and it was on a separate price. Next morning, I went to the university and I used the metro for which I had to buy a ticket. At the university, I arrived also early and I had time to have a coffee. For all these businesses, the metro in Madrid, the airport, the airline, the taxi, hotel, and so on, we see that this is the main source of revenue. And what is in red is what is called ancillary revenue, because it's not the main business, it's something on top of that. So in the case of EasyJet, it's generating revenue, in my case, by selling me the ticket, but also by selling me the sandwich on board. But with this example, we see that not only the airlines, but many other businesses generate main business and additional business called ancillary revenue. But let's concentrate on the airline. And in this case, as I said, EasyJet. If we look at 2011, the ancillary revenue of the top 10 airlines in terms of ancillary revenue generation, they were generating from 15, the lowest, to the 33, the highest. So we see that it's quite important amount. And all of them, they were low-cost carriers. So ancillary revenue is more critical to low-cost carriers than to the traditional carriers, also called full-service carriers. While preparing this presentation, I looked again to data of 2014, and we see that those levels of 2011 has even increased, reaching up to almost 40% for the case of Spirit Airlines in the US. So this ancillary revenue has become even more relevant. In the case of EasyJet, the levels were quite similar, around 20%, which is very a good figure already. EasyJet is a low-cost carrier based in the UK. Here we have the uh, chief executive officer, who is a lady, and with a profit before tax of over 500 million pounds, which represent around 12% of project margin. 
This is quite high compared to the average of the industry, which tends to be most of the times lower than uh, 10%, if not making a loss, as it's common, uh, as is often the case. EasyJet is a pan-European airline with over 200 aircraft and over and flying over 600 routes uh, within Europe. In terms of passengers, in 2014, reach almost 65 million passengers a year, being the second largest European low-cost carrier, and achieving a very high levels of low factor. If we divide the passengers between the seats offers, we get the load factor, which was around 90%. Ancillary revenue achieved was around over 800 million pounds, which represented around 20%. And it was even higher than 580 million pounds, which was the total uh, profit. So here we can see the importance of ancillary revenue, which is a key factor to make airlines profitable. Ancillary revenue comes from different sources, and here in this table, I have divided the sources between within the airline, let's say baggage fees, speed boarding, seat selections or credit card fees, as well as eat on board, drinking on board, buy on board. In other cases, the ancillary revenue comes from partners. Uh, airlines and their websites uh, sell hotels and car rentals, and ground transportation, as well as insurance. So we see these two types of ancillary revenue, in-house generated and via partners. If we look at the moment of the trip when this uh, revenue is generated, we see that sometimes it's during the booking. So when I am making the booking online, the airlines offer me different services, which contribute to this ancillary revenue. And other times is while I am flying, they offer me eat on board, drink on board, uh, and so on. So we see these two phases when airlines generate that revenue. So as a summary, we can see that ancillary revenue is revenue generated from non-ticket sources. That is not only applicable for the airline business, but also in many other business, hotels, car rentals, and many others and is very, very important for profitability, as we saw on the example of, of EasyJet. Thank you very much for listening.